Hi, my name is Karthik and I am from executeautomation.com and welcome to part 29 of our C Sharp for Automation testing video series. And this section we are talking about C Sharp 7 new features and in this video I will be talking about C Sharp without variable enhancement. So before watching this part I would request you to watch part 28 since in this part we are going to talk about some of the codes which are going to be extracted from that part. Alright, so let's get started. Out variables. Another neat feature introduced in C Sharp 7.0 which really reduced a lot of initialization in code is this, the out variables. I was really hoping this kind of feature should come very soon in C Sharp because it was really really nagging while working with out variables in C Sharp 6.0 and above. If you're not aware of out variables, they are the another way of getting multiple return values from a method before tuples in C Sharp was developed. So in our previous video, we're talking about the tuples, deconstruction of tuples, and how we can return multiple values out from your tuples. And tuples was introduced just now in C Sharp 7.0 with a lot of enhancement. But the out variable was something which was very, very prudently used in C Sharp to return multiple values out from a method. And that's why the name itself is a out variable. And right now, the out variable was introduced in C Sharp, a much unified way of returning a value and initializing the out variable itself. So before C Sharp 7.0, the out variables, if you want to use it, it's going to look something like this. You need to declare the string name, grade, and uh, int age if you're going to pass it to the out parameter of a method. So you can see it's out name, out age, and out grade. But if you want to use that, you can see that the declaration of a variable is going to happen before that particular method. So that was kind of nagging. But right now in C Sharp 7.0, the initialization has turned completely into this. You can see that we don't really have to declare the string name, grade, and int age before calling that into the method. Right now, the declaration of a variable is right into the methods parameter itself. It's like out string name, out int age, and out string grade which is really, really awesome, right? And that's what we're going to discuss in this video. So let's quickly see this in action and understand how things work. So for that, I'm going to flip to Visual Studio. All right, so this is the same project which we have been working so long in our course. And I'm checking in all the codes in our GitHub. You can see that we have this C Sharp basic repo where we have this code. And you can see I checked in before 15 days of this particular video. And you can see there is no change right now. And you can see all the commits that I'm going to do is going to be sitting right into the GitHub itself. So this is the same project which we have been working so long. So if you're going to follow along with this course, just take the latest code from GitHub and start working with it. It's pretty straight and simple. So what I'm going to do this time is again, I'm going to go to the new feature.cs file and to work with the out variable, what I'm going to do is I will first show you the classical way of how the out variable is used. And then I will show you how you can work with an C sharp new feature of the out variable. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to return a, a name of student get get the maybe like this get students details. Uh, and I'm going to return multiple values. Assume that we don't really use tuples for now. So I'm going to say string of uh, maybe name oops name and out int age and out string of uh, maybe grade so this time i'm just going to hard code the code uh, values for these variables because i don't really have to uh, show you how these things are going to work so basically it's going to be very easy as well so you can see this uh, the name i can just give as karthik and uh, age is equal to uh, 30 and grade is uh, a I really like this way of doing it. All right. So this is the implementation of the uh, method with the out parameter. So it's pretty much same for C Sharp 7.0 and 6.0 and above because that's not going to be changing. But the only change is going to happen is while you try to call this method and pass the parameters itself. So for that, I'm going to flip to our program.cs file. And here, let's say I'm going to comment all these line of code because I don't really require them. And here, let's call this feature dot get student details method. And here you have to pass the variables out string name, out int age, and out string grade. So how do you do that? 
you first of all need to declare the particular variables itself something like name and uh, grade which are string type and then you have to declare uh, the age and now here you have to pass the name age and grade but don't forget to pass the uh, out keyword because it's going to return you the value itself so basically it's going to return three values out from the particular method which is nothing but the get students detail method right and then i'm going to use the string interpolation to return the value out from these uh, variables so for doing that i'm going to do this uh, oops something like student with name has age of uh, this with grade of this right there we go and now if i try to run this particular piece of code you can see that the student with name karthik has age 30 with grade a is displayed here so this is for c sharp 6 and above but if you want to work with c sharp 7 feature you can see that visual studio it's already showing us some helpful feature here there is three dot on this particular variable name grade and age so what is this if you just click here there is a bulb symbol coming we can see that it will show you inline variable declaration so if i hit this you can see it is automatically taking us to the inline variable declaration of out string name and if i hit control dot hit enter and control dot and hit enter we can see that it automatically turns our variable declaration within the particular method itself so that's the feature of c sharp 7.0 and it is already supported in visual studio 2017 it's more like resharper which is available on the market so it's automatically giving us all the helpful feature to work with the new features so now if you try to run this particular piece of code you can see that it's going to turn the same result which it was returning us before so this is what is the new feature of c sharp 7.0 with out variables so stay tuned for other features of c sharp 7.0 in our next video once again thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day